Capricorn. Your tarot general reading roles could be reversed, may not resonate, Capricorn. <sighs> Something about being playful, air, or not air sign, excuse me, a uh, fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius is called in Capricorn. Came out, so. We will see what's going on. Being rejected, a breakup maybe. Nobody wants to hear your sappy excuse. A marriage, God, God stepping in and stopping something you are a train wreck, we call it. Emotional baggage. A crossroads over the Empress. Or a, you know, a Empress. Trapped in your head trying to manifest an empress that's not, she's just eye-rolling you. <laughs> you didn't, I mean, there was feelings or something between you two, and you chose to work with a cove. So you have to deal with that. You have to learn how to live with your decisions here and stop acting like a kid. Stop acting like you don't have to pay for consequences for what you did, because you do. And you want to talk to this person, but you're trapped in your head while well, you're stuck in these coves. Yeah, you're hexing curse into a cove through moon magic with death spells and you're juggling. Yeah, there's no sex here. Something's blocked. Everybody's in a gridlock. You all did death spells or you were in a cove with death spells. So the system gridlocks itself because there's no control in the backfire and everybody was doing... Uh, death spells. Yeah, it looks like you were stirring a pot or somebody you were in a group with was stirring a pot. And it's been unfulfilled success. So, they stole all your energy and dumped you just like everybody else. Here's being put to rest, being put to death. So, that's the truth. You're stuck in an illusion somehow. With a Pisces or someone that with a lot, there's lots of emotions, water energy here. And regret. You were being used for money. They're mad you were investing with them, but we had a long conversation about that. We don't have to go through that again. Because um, they were just giving it, your energy to somebody else. And Justice had to come in and balance the scales and it end up in a breakup here. Looks like you had to move. Something happened. You had to move. Something about moving. That's, you need to be manifesting a move and get away from these people and take a break. Get them out of your energy. You need to learn how to not be entertained all the time. Like a little kid. You're just like you want constant entertaining. Looks like you're in feminine energy. I don't want to say that, but I, that's all I'm getting here. It's just you're stuck in some kind of triangle with a... Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Earth, Queen of Water, Behind the Moon, Temper. I mean, this is all feminine energy here. And you got Dom. Saturn came in and closed these out. The Vine Block went up. It was all this fighting. Oh, my gosh. Fighting over the truth and your future, what you where you're supposed to go, and judgment came out, came out, and now you have to move about. You have to move. You're at judgment. You're waiting for judgment, and you're going into the dark night. So it looks like you're going in the void. Learn how to deal with yourself. You're sexually frustrated, so you cut the cord on all these people. You have to cut the cord on them. Get these people out of your energy. You're better than that. You don't need to feed off of people because you need to entertain. You're better than that. If you're a king or an emperor, you have a million things to do. You don't have time for this. You have to cut it out and mean it. You never mean anything. Two of, yeah, you got a doorway here. Get out of this jealousy. Oh, you're stuck in a gridlock here. We're jumping forward. Something with the money. Something about your money. Someone's got you trapped in a money spell and a failing spell. So it's blocking your movement forward. 
And everybody cut the cords or that sold the contracts. That's not cutting the cords. That's selling the contract. I mean, you look. I mean, you won this battle. So it's time to go through the door. You need to cut the cords and go through the door. I mean, go, go, go. Close everybody off. Don't talk to anybody. Be like, no. You put your hand up. Yeah, talk to the hand energy here. You get sucked into all these different um, like generational time loops. You need to make up your mind what generation you are. You a 90s, 2000. You hang out with a lot of millennials. But it looks like you're more like a... You want to be mature like a Generation X. But you get stuck in all this immaturity with people that you choose to be with. And it makes you look like a, an idiot airhead is what I'm seeing going on here. So you really need to go into some King of Swords energy. And get out of this. That They sold the contract. They did this. They broke the contracts. They gave away all the energy. And you need to cut all these people out and mean it. Of course you can. It doesn't matter if you love them. You love your kids and they still F up. Still don't listen. You know, there's nothing you can do about that. You can't change people. Stop babying them. Stop teaching teaching them. Treating them like kids. You treat them like, you know, your boyfriend and girlfriend's like kids. Oh, I feel sorry for them. I love them. You know, that's like treating them like your kid. Okay. What do you want? You need to set up some healthy boundaries for yourself for what you're looking for in a boyfriend or girlfriend. And guard yourself. That's that two of swords. You know, putting up your boundaries and guarding yourself. There's still something you're not seeing here. So what if people are spying on you? What we do to... Who cares? People are going to check you out and spy on you. Want to know what's going on? They've been using you all these years. You're cutting them out, even if you're not doing anything. It's not like, it's not even like, I don't even see you trying to make them jealous. You just like a lot of entertainment and people in your life. And the people that you're supposed to love don't deal with that. This high priestess here. She just said you're too immature. You think that if you like all this entertainment and mysterious in your life, instead of dating all these immature people, you would date somebody like out of your realm and travel a little bit to date somebody because you like out of the box. You just can't get out of your stupid loophole with these people from your town for some reason. But the, And these aren't even people you like went to school with. I mean, one of them are. These other people, you just think they're funny and cute and idiots and they entertain you. I don't, I don't know what. You like dumb, stupid girls? You don't even know what you like. Anyways, you're trapped in your head. Something about work, work. Yeah, I mean. It's easier to pay a bunch of kids to do that for $100 for four hours than $100 an hour. So, you know, people aren't moving around like they used to. Some people used to move every couple years now they're not moving anymore okay, you're definitely not happy being rejected or you need to reject people learn how to reject people and make let, let that make you happy and move forward and it's going to take all your strength and courage to do this you need to do that before you can start off on your new journey you need to get all these people out of your energy okay Something about August. Leo, maybe you like Leo. Coming in for an apology or you want to apologize to them. You need to think about this. They're broke. They don't have any money. They don't have any money to do anything. So it's just going to be like the last ex girlfriend Using you for entertainment. Because they're broke. Not for love. Not because they like you. Not because they want to spend time with you. Yeah, they're just manifesting this for through magic. It's not real. It's just, just magic. Everything's been illuminated. Yeah, they're coming. The wish fulfillment. They want to heal this. They want to romance you, and you're having a tower over yourself now, which is good. And it looks like you're putting people to death. You're going to choose yourself for once. Wow, look at you. Put in this contract into yourself. Your contract with your higher self, it looks like. Good for you. 
That is the plan. Put in this cup of love into yourself. Sacrificing people, places, and things. A hangman. All these people from your past. Sacrificing them. Yes, that's what you need to do. Come up with new ideas. You are the emperor. That's right. You put yourself on the throne. Stop letting all these people. And then it looks like this queen of swords, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that you want to be friends with is going to go on the will. Okay. Looks good, but this could be, this this chunk here could be fairy tale land. We don't know with you. Um, this uh, Leo is going to come through as a serve as a temptation, of course. So what are you going to do? Are you going to give in to the beast again? Or are you going to put yourself first? Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.